all right so welcome back to another video what i want to show you today um, is how to make this uh training aid it's actually really easy to make uh i've seen this online uh, basically uh it's the co hanger uh if you want to purchase it it costs about like from a hundred about a hundred dollars to buy it so and i tell you what it's really easy to make and the benefits of it are really 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 handy so let me show you how it's done Okay, so basically all you need is a coat hanger and uh, this is a really great uh, training aid. I, I used it a lot and definitely every once in a while I, I keep using it. And you can actually just use it without making any changes by putting it into the club like this. And it works pretty good. The only problem with that is that you're gonna, when you put your grip on it, you know, you, you kind of have to uh, hold into the coat hanger. So that kind of, that can bother you a little bit. So. What I'm going to show you is how to do it, how to make it uh, specifically for a club. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to grab your coat hanger. You want to place it into the grip like this. And what we're going to do is, uh, all we're going to do is just going to tie it up in here. So, but obviously uh, you can use it like this, but you're always going to have the, the coat hanger in the way. So um, ideally it will be better without it. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to mark it right here. And then I'm gonna mark it right here as well. That way uh, I have space to tie it right here and right here. And I can remove this part right here and it will be better uh, without it, so. Okay, so now I cut this uh, coat hanger and what I'm gonna do is gonna tie it. I'm gonna use some shoestring. I'm gonna cut two pieces and what you want to do now is you want to make sure you align it uh, the club face to this uh, square so make sure it's uh, aligned correctly so I got a shoe string right here align my club face and what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna tie it first one then the other one Okay, obviously you can also use uh, maybe rubber bands or whatever you need, but uh, just make sure it's attached correctly and aligned to the face. And uh, make it really tight. And that's it, you have it there. And see, once you do this, this is just like the real, you know, uh, you can either pay $100 for this or just uh, do it yourself for free, so. And now, when, when you use it, you don't have to fill the coat hanger in there. You know, this is a great, great training tool. And the way you use it, obviously, I made a video on it a while back, but it's quite simple. Uh, you just have to align to the ball and you have to fill the, uh, the coat hanger right on your forearm. And you have to make sure it stays there throughout the swing. So I feel it there and just keep it there. So quite simple to use. I used to do this drill with the uh, coat hanger in the way, so uh, this definitely makes a, a huge difference right there and just feel it right there so this definitely helps let's see okay that's great and I felt that over here uh, obviously if you overdo it uh, you start um, you get like a bruise over here. That's what happened to me a while back. So the only uh, mod that I will make to this is uh, maybe use some rubber bands because you have to really tie it really, it has to make it really tight in there. So, but it definitely works. It works really well. That's it, that's all you need. Let me see if you can uh, see a shot right here. So all it does is keep you from opening the face right there. I can feel it. And if I, if I didn't have this thing, you can see that the face goes open. And the same thing on my downswing. If I can feel it in my forearm, you can see how the face just stays square. So a great training aid. Save a hundred dollars with it, so. So I took a few shots already and it stay, this stay in place, so it's great. Um, 
Definitely recommend it. Um, you can, um, all you need is a coat hanger, a plastic coat hanger like this. Something to cut, uh, a shoestring, and that's it. Just make sure I align it to the club face. But that, that can be done easily because you, if you see it in the grip, the little line here, um, you can just tie it like right next to it. So, and definitely helps. I mean, uh, I used this for a long, long time for a while because I struggle with an open club face. This is an easy, a very easy way to make a training aid. And like I said, compared to the ones that you, you can buy, you know, it's a hundred dollars for something that is, obviously the other one, you know, is much, much more sophisticated, but the purpose is the same. You know, you don't need to spend hundreds of dollars in something that you can just make at home. Okay guys, so that was just a quick video on how to make your uh, your own training aid. Uh, very, very easy. This is by far the easiest thing that you can do. Uh, and obviously it will save you hundreds of dollars. Uh, about the drill, obviously all you gotta do is just uh, fill the uh, coat hanger on your on your forehand, on your downswing, and as long as it's touching, you're doing fine. The, you, the face will be square, so really easy actually. And uh, like I said, it helped me a lot when I was struggling with, a, with an open cloak face. So um, anyway, so I hope you liked the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on, on how to make this. Um, it took me about five minutes, so definitely very easy to make. Uh, anything similar to it, you know, as long as it's plastic, I guess, but you can also make it, um, the thing with plastic is better because uh, if it's wood, uh, it might, you know, add some weight to the club and then it might actually hurt your forearm when, if you keep doing this exercise, you know. So this is just plastic, so it's kind of gentle on your, on your forearm. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.